Hello everyone, my name is Rohit and welcome back to another video on Next.js. In this video, we will see how to implement browser notification in React and Next.js application. It's damn easy. So without any further delay, let's get started. I started a Next.js app and these are my default settings for this project. Next I opened the app in Visual Studio code but before writing any code, let's run this project using the command npm run dev. Ok, this is the default rendering of the Next.js app. Now if you go to the page.js file which is inside the app directory, you will find the default code of Next.js. This is the code of what we saw just now in the browser but we are going to delete this code. First we are going to add a header, we will use Tailwind CSS to style it a bit. First I decided to write the code for notification in a separate file, so I imported it. However, we will write the code here only. We use the use client directive to tell the compiler that this code is for the client side. Now let's see how we can create and send a notification. We define a function called send notification that takes no parameters. This function will create a new notification object with some options such as the title, the body and the icon of the notification. The notification object will automatically display the notification to the user. However, before we can send a notification, we need to check if the browser supports the notification API and if the user has granted permission to display notifications. We define another function called request notification permission that takes no parameters. This function will check if the notification object exists in the window object. If it does, it will call the request permission method on it. This method will prompt the user to allow or deny notification from our web application. This method returns a promise that resolves with the permission status. If the permission is granted, we log the message to the console and call the send notification function. Next we use the use effect hook to call the request notification permission function when the component mounts. The use effect hook takes two arguments, a callback function and an array of dependencies. The callback function will return after every render unless the dependencies change. In our case, we only want to return the callback function once, so we pass an empty array as the second argument. We also pass the request notification permission function as a dependency to avoid creating a new function on every render. 
Finally, we have a component called Home. Inside this component, we will render a button that triggers a notification when clicked. And that's it. We have created a simple React component that uses the notification API to display notifications to the user. You can try it out by clicking on the button below. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and happy coding.